Hello guys. So once again I'm going to do some of my chainsaws again in the trimmers. But I thought it was a beautiful day. I think it's time to decide we get these brush trimmer and grass trimmer. Big grass trimmer and a big one going. And get these guys ready for 2022 for the next mowing season. Sounds like Jim's running his steel 026. Yep, it looks like Jim got his going. I'm pretty happy. His has got a 16 inch bar. Anyway, here's my, I guess it's a 2022 Troy Belt brush cutter in Pulisol. And my Euro 2000 19 uh, home light straight shaft weed whacker it was made from 2018 before 2019 so this thing's about four years old but i had it about a year ago in my 1985 home light xl 16 inch bar trimming chainsaw in my 1985 Hong Light Super XL automatic oiler with 20 inch bar. In my steel FS110 straight shaft weed whacker four cycle. In my MS291 Farm Boss Husqvarna 322L. In my Euro uh, 2000 Husqvarna handheld leaf blower. So, let's get them fired up, just one at a time. See if they, they ran okay. Probably getting ready for this year. Let's get them ready. I'm at choke. No need to hold the throttle. Next 
step is the home light equipment. Next step is home light, straight shaft, weed wax. No, no automatic choke, manual choke. Full choke. <laughs> First pop. I may not have had to hold the fro or nothing. needs to be turned up just a tad. Let's turn him up some. Okay. See what hap let's see what happens now. trimmer like this but a very light curve shaft weed eater but I still got it but I'm just not comfortable with the curve shaft trimmers but I'm comfortable with the straight shaft machine the straight shaft equipment I changed the fuel filter from the Super XL. Put the other one on. Because the other one might be clogged. That may be the problem. Let's see below one will fire up.
song. Sweet. I like home lights. I'm a professional home light guy too. Now for the big one. The next up will be steel equipment. Let's see if we can get Super XL to fire up. Yesterday he was bogging terribly bad. Let's see, Bill. Let's see what makes difference. Oh, that's a good sign. Just a little, about another turn. See what happens now. Or maybe the idle needs to be turned up. Let's try the idle. that in. Let's see if it helps. Come on, big boy. But I believe the coil in this one is kind of dirty. Let's try that. needs to be turned up. Just a bit. <laughs> that thing is alive. Let's 
try her again. Huh. I think the quarter might be gone weak in it. Let's try it again. Never mind. Me and my dad are going to have to take a look at the coil. It may just need a new coil for it. Ignition coil. Well, at least it does run. Well, at least that one's alive. Now for the steel equipment. And this one is actually my parents. This is also my steel FS110. We had it for seven years and it's still ours. We love this thing, but it never break down on us. Then choke, switch the uh, ignition on, lock the throttle. Let's see. Oh! First pull. Oh my god. It was flooded. It was flooded the whole time. Now for the chainsaw. Let me make sure. Yeah, second video will come up. All right, now for the chainsaw. Then the second part will be, the second video will be Husqvarna's. Now primer, squeeze the throttle, full choke, and give it a yank.
may not need to high idle.